guys. Nick Techno here. Today I will be telling, teaching you cool things to do with your terminal. Let's get started. So, first off, well, you, you obviously want to open the terminal. And as you can see, my terminal is green. Yours is usually white on black. The way to change this, or have, or yeah, change this. You go to settings, and you go to manage profiles. It, as default, you guys have this profile. Let me change that. You have this profile. This is default profile. But you can create a new profile to change the look and detail of the terminal. So let's go to the manage profiles and hit new profile. Call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it test. And you can change the icon to whatever you want. I'll just change it to this for now. Looks good. So once you're done that, you, go, you can go to the tabs. And this is this up here. Oh, sorry. The top, the title. So, as we can see, D, I mean, percent D is the directory long, like the actual written out. And then N is the program name, which is in this case bash. And then percent U is a username. You can customize this however you want, but I think I'm going to leave it like this. And this is the remote tab, if you're doing this from a remote server, but you don't have to worry about that. First, next we're going to go to the bar, tab bar. So, to actually show you this, here let me switch over to my test profile. So to actually show you this, we're going to set this to sh always show and hit apply. Now you can see the tab bar. And with this tab bar, you can create new tabs. Let me just hit OK. Hit File New Tab in Test. And you can have two windows open. So one could be running my matrix. matrix. And then this one could be running my tree. Cool. Right. Let's get to the next part. You can close your tabs with close tabs. Hit yes. Let's go back to editing. So you can change your tabs to be above up here, which looks a little bit weird to me. Or you can have it below. If it clicks it. Yeah. Have it below. Like that. And you can also show the when it appears. So I usually set mine to show it when it's needed. So if I have two or more, but if I have one or more, I mean one or less, or just one, it'll it won't show it. So if I hit OK and I hit File New Tab and Test, then it shows the bottom. Let's edit a little bit more. So we can exit of this and you can also show the new tab button actually apply as you can see maybe you can't see it here actually but there would be a button that says new tab right here let's go to appearance hit apply yeah everything good appearance now this is where you could change the, the actual font and background so you can have it black on light yellow black on random light which is looks like a little blue black on white dark pastels green and black which I prefer and then the normal Linux colors then you have solarized which is like a blue and a, a grayish and then finally you have black and white I'm going to set mine to 
this dark patch though since I already have a little bit green and black one. Apply. Now next we're gonna go to the font. So as you see moving this you can actually have a live view of what it would look like. Now if you could see that I don't know what like if you have super glasses or something. But I keep mine around 10 or 11. 10 or 2 is good. And we can actually edit the actual font. We can have mono space, that, and defragible, whatever that is. You can change the font, how it looks, you know, and all that. And then the actual thing. I'm going to keep mine at mono spaced, and let's see, bold, italic, regular. I'm going to keep it at bold. Bold looks good. Hit OK. Apply. And there we go. Now we have a bold mono space. Next, we're going to go to scrolling. This right here shows if you like, if you could scroll back up to see past things. So you could disable it so you don't do it. So you won't scroll anywhere. Or you could change it to a fixed number of lines. I, I set mine to 500. Usually it would be set to 1000. So I could scroll up. 500 lines, or you can set it to unlimited. This might actually slow down your computer, but if you prefer that, go ahead and click it. I'm going to keep mine at fixed, and then you could change what side the scroll bar is on. So change it to the left so it would be over here, or have it hidden, or just have, keep it on the right side. Next, this you don't really have to go here, there's nothing here. Um, this will let you edit the terminal features, mouse, interaction, and cursor. Let's start at terminal features. Allow blinking text is that blinking cursor thing right there. But this, it shows it twice for some reason. I don't know why. Um, enable flow control and bi direction rendering. I just leave those because they look important. <laughs> Mouse interaction, if you triple click with uh, three fingers, you'll get a whole line, which I can't actually demonstrate here, but I would underline links, so when you're downloading like a package, it will show the link, like if you put your mouse over it, it will underline it. Next, let's go to cursor. Blinking cursor lets that little thing blink, as you can see. You see that on my, yes, you can. Yeah, you can see that. And I'm going to turn that off because it doesn't really do anything. So, as default, you have your cursor as a block. A weird block, yeah. There is also eye beam, which is a straight just line here. And my favorite underline. You could set that to whatever you want. And you could set the cursor color to match the characters of what you're typing, or you could change it to your custom. Have it like a, a weird blue, hit OK, apply, and have it a weird blue. I'm going to keep mine at the same. And you don't really need to mess with this down here, because it doesn't do anything. Once you're happy with what you have here, just hit OK. And you can set this as default if you really like it. And there you go. There is a new look for your terminal. Okay. Let me switch back. Next, we're going to be doing cool matrix and a tree. These don't really do anything to your terminal except add cool functions. Let me give you an example. Let's. Let me go to Manage Profiles. Turn this one on. Close. Okay. Let's go to Hacker. There we go. Back to my normal. So the matrix looks like this. Ma C matrix. And you get this cool animation. To install this, you want to do sudo app dash git, I will have this in the description, dash git, ins 
do C me tricks. Hit enter. Type in your password. Um, type in your password. Yeah. And then once I already have I have already installed it, so but once you're done, all you have to do is just type C matrix and get the cool animation. And you leave this on, someone walk in your room, someone be like, oh no, he's hacking. Let me leave him a room. Yeah. Next up, I'm gonna show you the tree. So first let me clear. Clear. And then tree. This gives you a tree of all your files. I have so many that I can't even scroll to the top. To get this, all you have to do is do sudo app dash get. This will also be in the description. Why do I always type a zero? Get in install tree. And as you can see, I already have this installed. But when you get it installed, you just type tree. Enter, and there you go. There's a tree of all your files. Well, hope you guys like this video. If you did, give a like. And if you want to see more awesome videos, tech, other stuff like that, just uh, subscribe.